all right hey guys what's up mps ready here and welcome back to another exciting video so today i'm going to break the visual effect how visual effect are actually made and what are the process i usually try to follow to complete my artworks it doesn't matter if i am working for youtube video or if i am working for a client my whole process was the same and today i'm going to reveal my whole process how i start and how i end any visual effect or any artwork yeah definitely a visual effect artwork so today i'm going to reveal and i hope you will learn something new and exciting but before that i would like to introduce one of my amazing course modern visual effect so if you are interested to learn visual effect and you are new to this field and you want to learn also blender by creating these visual effects i will highly recommend to check modern visual effect it has total seven different chapters five different effect and two chapters are dedicated for the basics just like the first chapter is for the basics second chapter is all about the tracking and rest five is dedicated to different visual effect like green screen how you can do and composite 3d object into real world and also recently i included the iphone visual effect which has 37 millions views on instagram and i share all the step by step tutorial into my new course so yeah you can go there and check it and yeah let's get started this video so for creating visual effect for my workflow it start from the idea part when I try to look for a concepts and what should I do and based on that I will move forward and do all the other steps. So in this case the new year is coming and I hope the previous year was amazing for you and you learned something new and you enhanced your skill, you enhanced your personality and same I wish for you for the upcoming years to you know I hope you get some good wealth, health and happiness. So wish you very very a happy new year and uh, we are talking about the idea parts work more on the idea part what you want to you know create so think about it and just find some references from the pinterest and there are more other websites just like behance art station and even now we have the ai so you can you know type what you want and you can based on that you can search the idea what you want to do so once you lock the idea, the second part is try to suit the video according that because we are going to add a CGI into our real world footage. So for that we need a video. So based on your idea, you should film the clip and shoot a 360 environment map. The next part is to complete the tracking. And for tracking, I have also a step by step tutorial, which is available completely free on the internet. I will put the link in my video description and also on this I button and also you can see on the screen so you can go there and check it how i use blender to do the tracking and you just have to you know do the follow the same step you will be able to complete the tracking and once your tracking is finished the next part is creating the base base setup is necessary because let's suppose if you want to add a ball and you want to make it fall on the ground or interact with the you know your real world ground ceiling or wall so in 3d world you also have to create that boundary so that your sphere can detect the, those locations where the you know ceiling is where the boundary is where the floor is and based on that it creates the shadows it creates the ambient occlusion and it also creates the reflection so yeah it's very necessary and for what i did i just simply created the plane and extrude them based on my real location and this is done the next step is creating that main effect so for this particular case or this particular tutorial i decided to inflate some text so for me this is the main effect for let's suppose but for you maybe it can be different let's suppose if you want to make a lot of iphone fall make a car into your scene you, you just have to import that car and match the lighting and that's it but for this effect i have to do a couple of different stuff and i on my channel i have a different different tutorial based on the simulation stuff just like i also created the fire simulation i also have a cloth simulation tutorial so have a smoke simulation tutorial so there are bunch of and very soon i will create a water simulation as well as so that this part will be you know totally done so yeah so for creating the text in flat effect what i did i created a text using blender inbuilt text system and i extrude it and because the vertices are not according my need because i'm going to add simulation i apply a remesh mod 
modifier to you know just uh, make the polygons even i don't want to make the uh, text inflect directly i want to make it gradually i apply a dynamic paint and change a few settings and i make it wet paint and i also created the vertex group so that i have a data which i can use in when i will apply the cloth simulation after that i also created another geometry which will paint and work as a brush and also work as a mask and once i will animate it will you know create a weight paint or it will give me a data which i can use to you know inflate my text gradually so once i have the data and once this setting is done i will apply a cloth simulation and i will do a couple of changes but the main changes is here the pressure so i will enable the pressure and i will increase the amount in the vertex group i will use the data which i have already so i'll just pick it and uh, with couple of more changes this is the final look which we will see and once you are satisfied with your animation or simulation or whatever you did your main effect into your visual effect the next part comes in the lighting and lighting for the lighting there are a few ways which you can enhance your lighting the main important role uh, of the lighting is to make to blend your cg things with your real world so what i do i use a 360 environment map which i shoot on location and i use the google camera to capture 360 environment map and i use the same picture as the environment map here and it will lit my 3d object from everywhere from 360 and after that i also created the area light so that i can see on my scene where the light came from and i can add a main light source from there also to create some shadows and rest of the things so this looks uh, right for me after that we can move to the rendering part and for the rendering i want to render my scene into several part just like uh, you can say a multi pass so just like i want to export the color pass separately and i want to export the emission part separately shadow ao pass separately so all these passes for creating all these passes i can go to the compositing in and uh create a file output node and here i can change a couple of things just like i will render this into a exr multi layer and here i will just uh, rename and i will create uh, more inputs and i will just uh, change the name and i'll plug all this like color to color ao to ao and once you are done just click render animation and it will render everything but before rendering i always try to render a couple of frame from different different timing just different different frames so that you are sure you are you know okay with these things once rendering is completed now the compositing part start so compositing has a different kind of a, you know power to enhance your artwork to the next level i will highly recommend you should also learn the compositing so for here i am doing going to do the basic compositing just like i will just simply import my uh, footage and then i will import the render render sequence and i will import it into our scene and then i will use a uh, extractor r and i will try to extract all the passes separately and i will just composite it using the blending mode and once you think it's looking good you can apply normal some color correction color grading and after that this will be the final video so now i hope you understand how visual effects are made what are the process and what are the steps which we have to go through to complete each step and it's each step has a uh, you know their own importance and their own role to complete the visual effect and every part is very important to you know uh, complete uh, i hope you learn something new and i hope now you have a knowledge of the visual effect and now you are ready to create something so please uh, create and tag me use hashtag and paste ready or as rate and paste ready and tag me on instagram i will definitely love to watch your videos i will also recommend you to go and check out my modern visual effect course that's it for now and you can also check my other amazing tutorial you will definitely learn something new so please hit the like button subscribe our channel i am in paste ready and i will see you next time with an amazing tutorial until then keep working keep smiling and uh, bye bye happy new year guys